how's it going today guys? Yesterday or Monday, me and uh, Jamerson buzzed out to Muskegon, Michigan. Picked up our second 16 foot custom painted white short iron pull plow. Looking crispy, looking as good as new. We got the mount and everything on the truck. This is our 2016 three quarter ton Silverado. And today's video, we're gonna show you how, what the hook up, hook and unhook process is like. Super easy, super simple. So on the plow, it's got this switch right here. It's super nice, you can go up and down. So you can line it up to your pickup. Right here on a very uneven surface, it's, it's cocked and it's kind of it's on ice, which I put it here purposely because not everyone is hooking up to this thing on a dry concrete floor. It's a real life situation. And it snows all the time. You get up and the snow catches you out of nowhere. I mean, you gotta hook it up quick. It's not always a perfect scenario. So we, we take our piles on and off quite a bit. Because use our trucks for various things. So I am gonna hook this up on my own so just so you guys can see what it's like. Because you don't always have two guys. With two guys, it is a little bit easier, but with one guy, it ain't bad. So, now that I moved it all around, it was right where it was when I left the truck, the truck off, but now I'll have to adjust a little bit, so I'll back up and uh, see how close I can get it. So all I did was just uh, try to center the truck between the wings here, put the same amount of weight here and there. Go down a little bit. So basically just this bar right here goes into here, and then you put one pin through there. So as you can see, I'm a little bit to the right. This thing is pretty light. I think it weighs about 1,200 pounds. Let me see if I can uh, see if I can move it over a little bit. Just by hand. Oh yeah. So then this is where this is super nice. You can see I need to go up a little bit. Tap her up. On this side. Um, so I need to go down a little bit. Now I'll just back, back up to smack them up. Jason, one thing, Jason, one thing that would be cool, I mean, you got your pins here, sometimes they're, they're floating around, it's like you don't want to set them on the box or set them on a plow, they fall off and it snows, you can't find them. If you could make like a little pin holder, I mean, I know it's something simple, but it's something I would use and I would love to have. Like two little, two little pin holders are like a hook where a guy could hang them right here when you're done so you don't lose track of your pins because you lose a pin, you're screwed. You know, find another one or whatever, so. If I can make one tiny suggestion, that's, actually just, that's what I would suggest. Somewhere to just hang your pins so that you don't lose them. If the sitting outside and it's covered in snow, then you know where they're at. Slide that in there. So, the pin goes through there. Jason from Short Iron suggested that when you put this, the little cotter pin in, down here, that you put this, when you put that cotter pin in down there, that you put it all the way through, because I guess if you don't, it can, it can slide out. So you want to make sure that the pin here is slid all the way through. You got your one pin there. You got your other pin over here. I can see you need to go in it a little bit. Slide her in. Pin right there, boom. It's super, super easy. I mean, like, if I wasn't sitting here jaw jacking so much, like, I could put this. I mean, the one, one guy, I mean, Jam Jameson hooks that up and unhooks it by himself all the time in a matter of a, a minute, so it ain't bad. You got your two connections here, two wire connections. One's like a regular seven prong trailer. It's like a. Uh, like you find your Continental trailers, and this is like a some big heavy-duty plug. These are these cords are super soft, which is nice when it's cold. They don't freeze up. They're not all stiff. They're always stay soft, so that's super nice. Um, and so you jump up in here for the mount. They take off your old hitch, your old hitch receiver, and, and so this is the old one. And then they have a new one. So then in here you got basically a seven-way for the black for the black plug. Plug that in there, and you got this one here. So there, there's some advantages, some big advantages to having this inside here. So the big advantages to having those inside there is now your cords and stuff, you know how, like I just just this morning I had a, a granular salt in the trailer one when I was pulling a trailer and then the trailer brakes didn't work. So what's in here, it's protected, it's out of the way. It, it, you, it'd be hard to have a tunnel closed with these, that's true, but you know, it is what it is. It's way better than having a tailgate off. It's nice to have a tailgate on because as you can see, I always got I always got bags of salt, shovels, I don't want to strap all that in. So we're gonna put up and in, you're out of the way, they're not gonna get full of snow, they're not gonna get ripped off. And uh, yeah, it's all good. So, and you can run her up here. So, quick, quick, quick overview. It's uh, you, you back in, one pin here, one pin there. Run your wires up and in. And inside the box here, you got you got your reservoir, your battery. Come close on this. So right here on this little valve, you can adjust your speed up and down. So if you want to speed her up a little bit, it's going a little slow. We haven't had to do that. Just the way he's adjusted them from when we got them, it worked out good. So that's 
So here's the controller, super simple, super straightforward. The way the whole plow is simple works, so not to be complicated. On off switch up top that runs power to it. Both wings in, or both wings out, both wings in, up, down, left wing in out. Um, it, uh, it works good. So yeah, it's uh, super simple. This plow does not have a bunch of bells and whistles. It's simple, it's right to the point, it gets the job done. At two in the morning, you don't want to be tinkering with little wires and you know, miscellaneous junk you don't need. This thing is bulletproof. It's simple, straightforward, easy, easy repair. If, there, if anything were ever to go wrong, I mean, everything is just so simple, so late. It's, it's, it's an all around, it's a solid plow. As long as I'm in a snow removal game, I will always have full plows, it's guaranteed. All right, I've dragged a little bit of snow here. Let's, uh, let's get a couple action, set, action shots. So there you guys got to witness uh, the first time, first time this plow has seen snow. Yeah, I mean overall uh, we're super excited, super excited to get this one. It's our second one. First one's right there. Uh, next year we're gonna have a pull plow on every single one of our trucks. We're gonna have a short iron on every one of our trucks next year and do all per time and monthly counts. Not doing any hourly next year because running your truck hourly for for hourly for the front plow it's a waste of time and money. You could be making double what you are right now with just your truck and your front plow. So. All right, so then to unhook, super easy to unhook. Come out here, keep her down. Set her down. Reach in here, pull out the two plugs. Super quick, super easy. Set these out of the way. And then, so what you can do, it's so nice to have a switch out here. So you can, like, this one's already loose. It happened to be right in the right spot. Um, pull out that pin. And then what you can do is you can come over here to this one. Okay, there's a, there's a tiny bit of pressure on that one, so you can jiggle this a little bit. Jiggle that until you get it, uh, until you get it loose. Because uh, again, again, we're not we're not on uneven surface. It's not a perfect world. You're never going to be unloading this. Or not never, but normally you're not going to be unloading it on a perfectly flat surface. So jiggle with that a little bit. Pull it out. Pull this out. And then see, this, this is where it'd be nice to have two little two little slots. And I know it's small, but it'd be nice. I'd appreciate it. So for now, I'm gonna put these in the box because they'll be there the next time I need them to hook it up. And then you can just drive out. Pull two pins, takes two connections, and then just pull out. Simple as can be. Simple as one, two, three. The hookup is honestly, uh, it's super nice. It's slick. And then you got your hitch here. You just, you, you do have to take out your ball. It's not a big deal. But slide the ball in, and you're good to go. Let me know. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this plow. If you have any experience with. If you have any experience with pull plows, what you think of them? Um, to us, it's, uh, it's a no-brainer. It's easy to make double. Most trucks go for 50 to 80 bucks an hour. With this thing, it's easy to do 100, to 200 to 300. We've done 400 an hour with just this pull plow in residential and smaller commercial accounts. So it's uh, it's a no-brainer really for us. Um, thanks so much for watching. I'm sure make it, let me know what you think of this video in the comments below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and go make your dreams a reality. Oh, and don't forget, in order to get results that no one else is getting, you must do things that no one else is doing. It's a real life situation.